All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Rat Rod Bob's School of Rat Rodology, a little shop where dreams come true. So I put some door glass and a back glass in my rat rod. So stick around and I'll show you how I've done it. Man, that thing looks cool. I don't care who you are. Sitting real low, mean looking right there. Now I'm on a mission to put door glass and this rat rod and a rear glass. It's gonna be a dark smoke tent. I know you guys are gonna say, well, you can't see out of that. Well, I know, but you can let, I'm gonna have the windows where they go up and down, so. <laughs> Let the windows down, or you can always option to put some uh, clear in it later or whatever. But yeah, for now it's gonna get some dark smoke tint, door glass. I think that'll look cool with the uh, paint scheme and all the rest of it. So that's what I'm gonna go with. So in preparation for this, I started with Speedway. I ordered me some glass run channel. And uh, Speedway, if you got, if you order $99 most stuff, you get free shipping. So the glass run channel, which I got two pieces of, eight feet long, didn't add up to $100. So I wanted to buy, I was, said, well, I could just add a little bit more to it and I could save the shipping. So I got me some Titan wire strippers, uh, self-adjusting wire stripper. I'm gonna see how they work. Uh, it cuts wire, crimps, connectors. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. And uh, that still wasn't quite enough to $99, so I got these 10 inch braided hose cutters. They look, they cheap, but uh, I'm gonna see if they work. Yeah. But this, this glass run channel is supposed to be the right size to fit in that door run, so I'm gonna find out in just a little bit. I'm gonna cut me a little piece of that and make sure it's gonna fit. But uh, that's what it looks like. You know, real flexible, you can run right around. And You run around to all the curves and everything. Should be no problem. So I'm gonna open these up, see if these are cut it. Yeah, that's all right. So that's got a little metal reinforcement on the inside. Uh, yeah, it's got metal reinforcement, so. Let's see if it's fitting the door on. So it goes in here, so let's see. Yep, that's a fit. But yeah, that's gonna work. Uh, it's kind of a tight fit, like where I patched, where I cut the top and patched it back together. It's gonna be a little tight fit in there, but it's gonna, that, that's good, I like a tight fit. And uh, 
I got plexiglass coming because uh, that's cheap and that'd be good for a rat rod for now. 3 sixteenths. This channel takes up to, I think, 5 sixteenths. Looks like a quarter inch would be a really good fit. But yeah, my window channel, I got steel window channel in the door I never took out and, and I got lucky they all good, both doors. So I, the window channel, the metal window channel goes all the way down. And so I could just put this in. This is each roll, I got two rolls, it's eight foot long, each roll. It's supposed to be enough to do the whole door on a full size truck. So since I chopped the top, or I really have enough to go all, right, all the way around one door with eight feet. Yeah, dark gray tinted door windows. Might be what you call limousine tint. I don't know, I ain't got it yet, but it's probably gonna be, I want it dark. I don't want it, I want to be able to see through it a little bit, but I want, still want it dark. So yeah, we're going with that. Let's try it on this one. See, probably there. Perfect. So the crimper, I don't, I ain't, I don't know about the crimper, but I got a good crimper anyway. I just needed something to strip, make life easier stripping and cutting. So yeah, and cut it, and strip it real quick. So I got my plexiglass in. This is supposed to be dark smoke, dark gray. Let's see what we got. I like it's got a lot of cardboard with it because that might come in handy for making templates around the shop. Yeah, even more cardboard, I like it. Even more cardboard. Well, they wrap it up good for sure. Yeah, East Street Plastics, by the way. Yeah. First time I ordered from them, uh, communication's not that great, but the stuff come on time, so that's one thing, good thing. So I got two pieces supposed to be a two by three. Supposed to be enough to do both door glasses and a good bit left over for the back glass, two, three back glasses, I guess. So they got saran wrap on it now, which is a good thing. It definitely got it wrapped up good for sure. So that's one piece, two pieces. I want to see what color it is. That's what I'm interested in. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Dark. I like dark. But yeah, you see, I'll be able to see out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, that'll work. I'm digging it. Now I put a door on that, I don't have to worry about scratching it up. <laughs> Even though it's a rat rod, I don't want to scratch it. So my doors are all usually easy to get off. Let's see. That's one. That's two. Door off. How's that? Now I'm gonna put this upside down without screwing up my mirror. Got to be like that. Okay, so now. I Get in there and get my window tracks cleaned up and all that good stuff and uh yeah that so i tried to mark where the outside the window channel is and i uh, got 
outside of that one, outside of that one, outside up here, and I got the bottom. So if I take that information, so if I take that information and measure, I need uh, say 27 inches wide and when the door glass all the way down, of course you want it below that. So I say at 17 inches. So I need, I'm gonna start with 27. I'm gonna make it 18 to start with. It's just, I'm just gonna do the, uh, I'm just gonna cut a template out of some cardboard. So I want 18 by 27. Now keep in mind the original glass has got a metal frame that comes all the way around it. And it, so, but we're not gonna have, I don't have all that. What I did have wasn't any good, so I did so I, this is gonna be just plastic glass or acrylic installed with just a window run channel in there. It's not gonna have the metal around it. Now when I put the glass run channel into the metal channel, especially at the bottom down here, it wasn't a real tight fit, it was a little bit loose. Kind of flopping around in there, so that, that's not good. You gotta have a tight fit. So what I done, I just took this little ball peen hammer and I stuck the round part of the hammer in, into that channel and slid it down in there and you see it swallowed it up. And then when I shoved it up in there, of course this is wire, got wire in it, so it's I mean, it's, uh, so when I shoved it up in there, it got real tight fit and stayed in there. So, yeah, that. I took me a piece of square rectangle, 18 by 27 cardboard, and I put it up there, and I kind of just kind of roughed in where the window would be, and I cut it out, trimmed it up, got it fit where, the, where it would fit. So, and the way the door glass goes in on these old trucks, it's like this, you take this round part or the front of the window goes in first, like that. And then you get that side over there in the slot, then you get, get this side in the slot. And, that, and that's pretty much the way it goes in. So I got that piece of cardboard and, and uh, as you can see, it goes all the way up, fits right in there. So I guess I need to cut me a piece of acrylic plastic glass that size and see what happens. So I'm just gonna take a marker and uh, mark around this template. And we got our mark. We need to cut on that mark. As I did for the windshield, I'm just gonna cut a piece off the corner to make sure the saw blade cuts good and that don't screw it up. So try it out. Yeah, it's got perfect perfect smooth cut so we're good we're good with the blade Let's see I don't know how that's gonna work we're gonna find out I got a new microphone it's a uh, ECM W2BT. My other wireless microphone was an e ECM W1M, something like that. I don't know, but don't buy that one. Don't buy it. It's uh costs more than this one. And it don't even, I mean, you, you guys seen when I first used it, it had some static. As soon as I get away from the camera a little bit, it got static, but this one, this one's a good one here. Uh, to prove the point, I'm gonna walk back here. See with the other microphone, when I get this far away from the camera, definitely got static. 
I mean, if I'm not talking, you could hear the static on the other one. You, I mean, you, some of you guys even commented on that. So, yeah, all right, I'm right here. I'm going to walk out, way out. Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know, 80, 100 feet, 100 feet, something like that. I'm a long way out here. Let me keep going. Way, way, way out here. No static? You hear any static? No static? Way out here. Way, way, way out here. What, I'm at least 200 feet. Way, way, way out. I mean, I can keep going, but what's the use? I mean, you <laughs> It said, I think 300 meters or something like that. I don't know what it's, I don't remember what it said, but anyway, if it picked up this far, that'd be, I ain't never been this far away from the camera, so. Problem solved. I appreciate you guys' support because your support has helped me get this microphone, so appreciate it. Just by watching videos. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that rain hitting the roof, but it sounds like some big drops. Might even be some hail coming down out there. Okay, anyway, that's the mic test. Check one, two, three. Check one, two. All right, uh, still working on my door glass. I cut some blue jean hem down the leg. You know, this hem down the leg on each side. Yeah. Yeah, that seam right there. So I cut that out of some blue jean legs that my neighbor gave me. Bless his heart. Love my neighbor. Uh, anyway, and I glued them in with this 3M. It's this contact cement, basically all it is. So, so I use contact cement to glue them in to keep the, the plastic from rubbing on the edge of the door on both doors looks kind of looks kind of ratty but hey who cares it's a rat rod so uh, i got both of the plexiglass trimmed cut out and uh uh just regular regular jigsaw kind of a medium coarse jigsaw blade a flat wheel to smooth up the edges and uh, got some sheet metal. I made some sheet metal strips. This is just 20 gauge sheet metal that I fold over a piece of uh, 316 scrap iron. And they're gonna go on the bottom to strengthen the bottom up, make it a little stronger. So there go, something like that. They go in there like that. Then I could drill two holes through it and take my seat belt material and, uh, you know, of course, wrap it around, bolt it through from that side and this side. And I have that attached to pull the glass up and down. We're going to see how that works. So the first thing I want to do is to keep this unraveling, I'm going to take my torch and do what we do to nylon. There you go. Might as well do this other one while I'm here. There it is. All right, so I need two holes to start with through that. Need to mark them where I need them at. See about right somewhere in there. Now I'm taking, I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not. But I'll take my solder and iron and see if I can punch a hole through that, see what happens.
Yeah, that works. If I can keep from burning my finger. Ooh, I'm close to my finger, but so far so good. All right, something like that. Yeah, that's a mess, but I clean that up. That's long enough. Too long. I cut it off though. Strap pull the window up. We're gonna see what happens. So I want to I want to round these corners. I'll smooth this up so it it uh slides smooth and that uh, glass run channel. So I'm just gonna take flat wheel and smooth it up a little bit. I'll make it smoother with some fine sandpaper though. All right, just to be on the safe side, I got a piece of 320 grit. I'm gonna uh, move it up just a little bit more. Yeah, it ought to slide really good now. That ought to work. Even if it is a rat rod. So I'm gonna put this door glass in. Uh, I guess first I need to run this. This is way too long. I'm gonna cut it later. Strap like that. Get it in the window channel. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to put this in from the bottom, but I can. But the original glass has got to come in from the top if you're doing an original truck. Strap pull. One goes up, not all the way, but now it's all the way. Yeah, that ought to work. Now, I need to put a screw in there so I can pull this down and strap that onto the screw. And another thing, let me show you right here. If you can see up in there, I got a little clip right there that bends around like that to keep that door glass from falling out. Got one on the other side too. So I just put a, a burnt hole in the strap with a soldering iron and put a screw right there to hold that strap. Same when you pull it up, another hole when you pull it up. So let's put the door on and see what it looks like. Hinge pins. Here the door still shuts. And the glass is flapping around on the blue jeans. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. See, I got another hole burnt right there. Need a bigger head and screw, but that's good for now. There you go. One door glass. Yeah, I gotta fix this, like now. Need a bigger screw, longer screw, tougher screw right there. But yeah, seems to be all right. So before I put that door glass back in, I wanna hide some of that, and the best way I know to do is put a little black paint on it. So I got some satin black here. Spray some of that cap.
take my trimmed up brush, see if I can carefully put some on there without screwing up. So after fighting, after fighting with that brush a little bit, I figured there's a better way, so why not? That's what we've been doing on the whole rat rod anyway. How about that? Use the old thinner on a rag trick. Right there, how's that? Is that easy enough? I think that'll work. It looks better than blue jeans. Of course, the blue jean looked cool, but it just didn't go with the truck, so. Yeah, now we got black jeans. We got black denim now. Better way of doing things. So now that I'm done with the door glass, the door window, I can take this, I can take this film off. Uh, it's probably gonna be not easy, but I'm gonna try it, see what happens. Wonder how long it's gonna stay shiny like that, the plastic <laughs> gets scratched up. All right. Messy job, but somebody's gotta do it. There it is. And there's a tent. I mean, you still see through it. I think it's gonna look good in the truck though. Well, I got a piece of, a couple pieces of plexiglass left big enough for that, so. Uh, I think we need a rear window with the same material. While I'm waiting on my blue jean belt line, <laughs> black paint to dry before I put the windows in, I'm gonna go ahead and do a back glass. So I got a piece of cardboard, a couple of magnets. When you buy yourself working in a shop, man, magnets comes in handy. Uh, Cause I don't have nobody to hold it on the inside. So magnets will work. Obviously I need to cut that window about a quarter inch all the way around bigger than that mark. So I got, I got my pattern on this uh, piece of, this was a two by three piece of plastic glass, by the way. So I cut the door glass out of there and I got enough. Since I had two pieces of this, I got enough to do two back windows, but I don't need but one. Uh, so I got my template cut a quarter inch bigger than the mark, as you can see. And uh, this two foot wide, just barely big enough to do this, so. We're good. All right. Cut that out and try it out. So I got my rear glass cut out here. And uh, I don't have the, the weather stripping seal to go around it to put it in. So I'm going to, I got some 3M, this really strong 3M double-sided tape, which is really too wide, but I'm going to split it down the middle and just put a strip around and stick it, just stick it in there. Who cares, it's a rat rod. So I'm just going to continue that all the way around. And then all I got to do is peel the red off and stick it on. All right, so I only get one shot at this. I got to get in the right spot. 
I only get one shot because once it's stuck, it's stuck. It's some strong stuff. Some of you guys probably already used some of it before. I already got the red off. Let's see if I can get lucky. Yep, got lucky. That's in there to stay. Probably had to break that there, we'll get it out. Back glasses in. So I'm ready to put the driver's side door glass in. See if I can do it without scratching it up too bad. Yeah, that's a good looking rat rod right there. I don't care who you are. I would say that door glass is not perfect, but who cares as a rat rod, but hey, it looks perfect. <laughs> hey, I got the best subscribers on YouTube. There ain't no doubt about it. If you want to be one, subscriptions are free all week. And uh, thanks to all you guys' support, watching my videos, thumbs up and everything. Uh, your support allowed me to get this cool microphone. I mean, it's a lot better than the other one. So if it wouldn't have been for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do that. So that there's that. The only problem is, I got the glasses up and the door shut. No handles on the outside to open the doors. So, I'm about to make a door key. <laughs> but anyway, we're getting it. We just ain't got it yet. Appreciate you. See you next time.